G'day everybody, it's the Antipodean Bloke here, and uh, welcome back to my playthrough of Kingdom Come Deliverance. In the last uh, episode, we travelled to Ushitz, learnt how to read, and uh, followed on the trail of one of the bandits who raided the Neuhof farm, the guy with the limp. Turned out his name was Lubosch, known as Limpy Lubosch, but we arrived too late to save his life, because he had been murdered, nailed to a wall, with the sign, or written in blood, above his head, the word Judas. So that's uh, probably reflective of the split in the bandit group who raided Neuhof. Some who were into the killing, some who were not. And uh, we're trying to track down other members of the bandit group who were involved at Neuhof. And from Father Godwin, the most rambunctious priest I've ever met, we found out that Lubosch had a friend called Riki, who was from Ledechko, and that's where we need to go to follow the trail. However, I want to take a little break from the main storyline to do a little bit of personal development, go spend some time with uh, Captain Bernard, training up the fighting, maybe even participating in the Rate Tawny. But most importantly at all, I want to start courting Teresa. So, Riki will just have to wait and uh, hope that uh, he isn't caught up to by the more murderous bandits in the same manner that Limpy Lubosch was. So... Here we go. There's Father Godwin. Church is just out. I saved his bacon there by giving a sermon when we were both hungover. So I think my reputation with Father Godwin's doing pretty well, seeing as I saved him from throwing up mid homily. Now, just a quick check of my quest log and see what I have outstanding. Oh, there's a thief. There we go. Ugh, I'm not fast enough to catch this guy. Might catch him this way. Given up. Had enough. Yeah, yeah, you got me. And what are you gonna do about it? That bloated belly surely stole that ring anyway. No excuses. Hand it over. Here. You got the thrashing you deserved. I hope you've learned yep. your lesson. I'll amend my life from the very foundations. Believe me. I'll have trouble believing that. You really let him go? Just like that? And did you get the loot back? Yes, I did. I did. I have it here. Thank you. A thieving magpie. You can't trust anyone these days. Ahem. <clears throat> and just so you know, I'm no pinch purse. Here's a small reward. Thanks. Woohoo! Six Groshen. Living large, baby. Right. Oh look, some marigolds and some sage. And some chamomile. And some St. John's wort. Nice little patch there. 
Now, I am definitely suffering the after effects of a hangover. Stay away from people as you can, right? Oh. I, th I think that's why I couldn't catch up with him. I was too hungover. Um, but I need to just re-gear myself. I had been uh, dressed up nicely for church. Mm, let's... Uh, Throw on a gamberson. Right. I'm all armoured up now. And yes, it is because of the hangover that my stats and abilities are significantly reduced. Uh, I really wish I had a hair of the dog potion. Do I have a hair of the dog potion? I do not. And this is a problem. Well, luckily it's daytime, and chances of me being waylaid are a bit lower. So, how about I just do a fast travel back to Rate and... I'm going to take a save of schnapps here. And we'll... Uh... Okay, here we are. Safely back at Arate. Ooh, some herbs. Now, I've got to go and hand over to Captain Bernard some... Um, Bandit trophies. I believe I sorted out the bandit camp off camera. But it's money, so I'll be happy to take collect. Care of the camp. Where's the proof? And Here over the spurs of the bandit leader. Hundred Groshen. Mm. I've heard about another encampment. It seems it's somewhere near the stream that flows down from Neuhof. Understood. Okay. Um, also, hand over the trophies. I have the some uh, ears. trophies. Let's see. Good. Good. That's how to treat the bastards. Right. Now, <laughs> one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do some training with him. So, I'm just going to look at my combat. Mace is only two, axe is only three, swords, eh, solid at eight. So, I really need to uh, train up with axe and mace, particularly if I want to have any chance um, in the Rate Tawny. So, what I'm going to do is strip down my armor so it doesn't get hurt and uh, just stay in some padding put on some gloves put on a ratty coif get rid of the male one oh, just take off the kettle hat Put on some patched hose. Take off the leg armor, necklace, and Bianca's ring. And the spurs, just to be sure. And pop on those shoes. Right. This way, I'm a little bit armored in practicing, but I'm not going to have all of my armor damaged. Which, when you're going for big practice sections with um, Captain Bernard, and you, you know, get some experience, but cop a lot of damage to your armor. It really is a bit disheartening. So this is going to be a bit of a, a, a training session. So you might want to skip ahead. Or if you want to uh, watch how I train, you're welcome to do that as well. Training combat 
with a practice weapon. I'd like to train a bit, just lightly, with practice weapons. Right. Let's get to it. What weapon would you like to try? I've got a bastard sword, a short sword. We can fight. Yeah, I'd like to fight with mace. I'll try the mace. The armor smasher. Take and a I'll shield. Take a shield, too. Because that's my style. Right, lad. Grab your piece, and we'll get stuck in. Well, that was easy. Quick level in mace there. Don't normally do stabby jabbies. But I should get used to them. Like that. Well, I think that'll do me. Oh, Stop. you Harry, win. Stop. I give up. I give up. Oh, you're so strong. Captain Bernard. No, it's Captain Bernard. Yes, it is Bernard, not Robard. Right. Let's see what good I did for myself there. Yeah. Player. Defensive skills right up there. Isn't that fantastic? Axes at four. Maces at three. Yeah, that's all right. But with my defense that high, I'm pretty happy. First up, I gotta go off and visit the armor smith and the weaponsmith and uh, get some repairs done. Nice. Well, just check what repairs I can do by myself, because it's always good to try to skill up my maintenance skill. Gauntlets, Orberg, clear us, and I can't do anything of theirs. Too damaged. Uh, cobblers, a couple of boots there, uh, and blacksmiths. What can I fix? Nothing. Right up. Oh, and let's go Taylor. Oh, can't fix anything there, neither. So, just... Uh, I might pop in to see the Huntmaster here and check if there's a better bow I can use. Strength 10, Agility 7. Getting up there. I'm honored that a knight such as you takes an interest in me. Oh well, honor's mutual, my friend. Here we go. God be with you. Um hunting. Yep. What's the stats on the cumin bow? Still need a little bit more strength for that one, but I'll keep it and I'll keep the ash hunting bow. Or when I have uh, some stat debuffs. Okay, so check the basket. A lot of money, but it's going to be worth it. Let's talk about the price. Naturally. Dum, dum, See dum. now, I knew we'd come to an agreement. Oh, it's all right. Okay. A new bow. So, weapons. Bow. Hazel. Hunting bow. 62. That's nice damage. Okay. 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 So, now... I'm going off to get a haircut and then to see Teresa. Yeah. Now the bathhouses um, offer baths, doing your laundry, healing some wounds, 
um, haircuts, shaves, and some uh, more intimate services. Now, when you pay to have time with a lady in an intimate environment, you do actually get a buff on your charisma afterwards for a while. So that's that's tempting, but I'm not going to do that because my Henry is not that I kind of guy. Um, he just wants. I'm interested in your uh, haircut services. Uh huh. And what do you want? Oh, I just want to have my beautiful bowl cut refreshed. Yes, please. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh Henry, you are a like beautiful that. man. Thank you. Beautiful be man. Arranged, but you'll pay in advance. Oh yes. Can do that. Pay. Fine. Here it is. I'm sure you'll be extremely satisfied. Mm. Goodbye. Thank you, ma'am. Now I am looking like a million groschen off to yeah. see Teresa. Pay her some attention. I mean, the girl saved my life. And she's responsible and she's beautiful. And seriously, and she's kind. That's another thing, kind. You know, she's everything but silly dog. Have some praise. That's I'll my boy. Dip into the bag of the stink meat for you. Look what I've got for you. Yes, yeah, some You'll rotting hair meat. Mmm, what a stench. You love it. There you go. Now go away and let me pick those dandelions I was after. There we go. And off to Teresa. Hello, lass. Look at you, lover boy. Mm, I know. Did it all for you. Uh, how have you been? So, uh, how have you been? I can't stop thinking about scallets. I know. It was hell. But life has to go on. Why yeah, not clear your head and try to forget about it? Done. At least for now. What do you mean? Do you feel like a walk? Yeah, good That's idea. That's not a bad idea. I've got lots to do right now. But I'd love to go another time. Will you come and see me again? As Definitely. her ladyship commands. <laughs> you jester. Definitely. Okay. Um, no, that'll do. I'm not going to shower her with gifts just yet. That could be presumptuous. Now. Oh. What's the time? It's getting close to night. How about I actually go to Ledechko? And, um. Spend the night. Then in the morning, ask around about Riki. Well, if you had your choice of nicknames, you really wouldn't go to Riki, would you? I only know of one person who's ever chosen their own nickname and it actually stuck. And that was Crash. Yeah, it's a good nickname. I like it. I can't remember. Did I ever look at this tree? So I happen to know about this tree. I might have been to this tree before. But, no. My memory's a little shot. Hey, Papa. Who's this? All oh, right. I hadn't been here. Okay, odd die, that's great. I actually quite like Bassinase the Clap Visor. Spiked Warhammer, well, I just sold a bunch of them. Groshen, never say no. Necklace, good. Doll Maker Potion. I think that makes people go all floppy and leave. 
and fashionable silly, silly shoes. Okay. There's fields of marigold. range good to know baths and lodges What's the time? 1900 hours. Or 7 pm for you Americans. Hey, look, a lot of people give Americans shit for not being able to talk in 24 hour time, but look, if you're not brought up to with it, you're not used to it, it looks a bit alien. And I get that. I get that. But counterwise, my dear American brothers and sisters, you've got to accept that a lot of the world does talk in 24 hour time and they also talk in metric so yeah Jesus Christ be praised yes let's praise Jesus what's happening, what's around, happening here? around here ah you know how it is always something like that sake has started an archery contest here hmm. if you want to try your luck at winning a few groschen you should go and see him oh and another thing now I think of it I've not seen Kunhutha here for some time. The local herb woman. She always comes here once a week for a tankard of ale. Hmm. But she ain't turned up recently. I hope nothing's happened to her. And there's more. Hmm? Especially at the mill. Not a week goes by without some ruckus there. But I'm wise to them troublemakers. Whenever they're planning some mischief, they're always huddled there in the corner, hatching their plots. Oh, well, that's Miller's like for you, isn't it? For instance. Oh, what going on? Farewell. No option to ask about Riki, though. How about you, Owl House Maid? Jesus Christ be praised. Praise Jesus. How may I serve you? You do have lovely eyes. Riki! I'm looking for someone they call Riki. That's the Tanner's son, Heenek. Where can I find him? Hard to say. He's not around here much. Thank God for small blessings. Oh, so he's not popular. I could try his folks place. Okay. Uh, what can what you can tell you me tell about, me about Ricky? this, Hinek? What can I tell you? Nope, he's none too popular. No one cares to talk to him. Why not? Well, I'm not one to gossip, but I heard he keeps bad company. Uh, that's not the half of it. Okay, what's Hinek's what's father the like? like? Hinek's father. The less I see of him, the better. He's not exactly sparkling company. Must run in the family. Why do they call him Riki anyway? Why do you think? Because he's a tanner. Oh, of yeah, the tanning industry stank. They'd use all sorts of concoctions of piss and shit to try to strip the flesh from hides and tan them. Uh, unfortunate, but true and necessary. So, why don't people like him? The old tanner's not an easy man. But a son should never let his father down. Enoch does nothing to help. Mm -hmm. He's always far too busy with his own affairs. Though I wouldn't like to say what those are. What are those affairs? And does no one at all talk to him? That harlot Adela hangs around with him, of course. Harlot? Adela. She works as a bathhouse wench. Same thing. Mm, yeah, good chance of that, actually. Mm. Is there somewhere I could sleep here? Certainly. For how long? Look, I'm actually going to purchase uh, 
an apartment here for indefinitely. I know I'll never get my money out of it, but there have been times when I've needed somewhere to, to crash. It's been late at night, and if you're only ordering it by the night, once everyone goes to bed, they've gone to bed and you're locked outside. But if you have your own room, you can come and go as you like, so... How about if I pay you It's like a 200 groschen investment. No problem. But you pay in advance. Let's just hang mm. a little bit. That's quite a lot. I know, I'm nickel and dime. We discussed the price. Are we agreed? Not quite. Well, a little more, and we'll call it a deal. Okay. Hey, come on. You've got it all to yourself. No one will disturb you. Okay, I know where this okay, is. Bye. It's just inside this door. Second door on the left. But, I mentioned the bathhouse wench. Was that Adela? It'll be all over town tomorrow. Where is Adela? What was that? What's that? Can I help? Yeah, uh, you could if I had a speech option. Okay, madam. Good evening. Not bathhouse proprietor, but madam. Um, use bathhouse services. Well, I I'm just had a haircut. Your, uh, services. Uh huh. Uh, and what do you want? I might as well get a mustache trim. And that's not a euphemism for anything else. That's that's a mustache trim. I like this porn stash. I really do. Ooh. Henry, you duck. I'd like that. Thank you. That can be arranged, but you'll pay in advance. Ooh, I'll pay happily for this. I won't even Hi. haggle. Here it is. I'm sure you'll be extremely satisfied. Take care. Do, 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 do. And you can see again, I got that, that uh, icon down the bottom with the, like, a. Uh, hat dummy with a quaff on it and that's a charisma bump of one i think for feeling fresh plain old bath made uh, nothing nothing at all looking for something Jeez. around here bath hey, made. What are, you... are you going to hang around here gaping like a stuck now where's, where is this uh, Adela? What's going on out there? She in here? Who is it? Um, what's that? What's what? Mm, maybe I have to go back there at a different time. I don't know. Snow with ankle deep. The weather's gone mad, I tell ya. You sound. Okay. Now, there was a, a mention of old herb woman. Now let's check the maps. No, there's nothing. What's there? Quest giver. I'm going to take a gander up there because maybe, just um, maybe, that will be the herb woman. And you know, herb woman, women tend to live, you know, in wooded areas. Yeah. Normally it's a bit more out of town than just this, but... Oh. Okay. I thought my horse could jump better than it actually could. Pebbles, you are the bargain basement of horses. You're a young stallion. So many herbs. Look at all these herbs. You're a young stallion. But, you know, you're not top shelf. I have to admit. Oh man, 
look at all this stuff. Mm. More herbs, more marigold. Nice. I'm really gonna have to come back here and do some herb picking. Yep. Here we go. What's the story up here? like an encampment. Looks like more than an encampment. Looks like a proper home. Right. Hey, police, if there's anybody here, please respond. Doing a welfare check on the old herb woman. Okay, doing a welfare check on what appears to be a rather deaf old herb woman. It's not a bad setup. Hello, what's Jesus wrong with you? Jesus Christ be praised. Yes, praise Jesus. How may I serve you? Uh, Ricky. What uh, can you tell me about this Hinek? What can I tell you? No, he's none too popular. No one cares. Why not? Well, I'm not one to gossip, but I heard... Okay. There's nothing new in these responses. May the Lord watch over you. Can you train me? Would you teach me something about medicinal herbs? Certainly. Yeah, I'd like to practice the basics. All right, but it'll cost you. Yeah, have now, pay. pay. God. Okay, I've improved my herbalism. Can I improve it any more? Would you teach me something about medicinal herbs? Certainly. I'm interested in more about... All right. Pay now, two. pay close attention. My herbalism must be up over 10. Because this isn't um, tripping me into an increased skill level. So training, herbalism... Would you teach me something about medicinal herbs? Um, Certainly. I'd like to hone my skills. First, you have to have right. some skills to hone. Okay, so I'm... Somewhere between five and ten. Well, I'll think it over. Take care. Oh, I really, really am nervous about can I do something for you? Because I don't want to be sent on a big side quest, you know. Please, find me six rabbits. Uh. Is there anything I can do for you? As it happens, there is. <coughs> Dramira, a widow from Ledechko, requested my services. <coughs> But it's a long way on foot, and me with my back in such dreadful pain. I simply <coughs> can't face the journey. Yeah, it's down the hill. All the way from Ledetsko? What, they don't have a herbalist there? They do, but she didn't want a local. She's a rich widow, inherited a butcher shop. You know how folks like to gossip, especially butcher about anyone who's better is off also than a them. Herbalist. Do you know anything at all about exorcisms? Exorcisms? Hmm. You know, banishing ghosts, <coughs> smudging, spells. Okay, that's interesting. A haunted butcher shop. One of a day's work for me. It's not a task to be undertaken lightly. This is a real ghost. The spirit of a dead man who hasn't found peace. In order to banish him from the world of the living, you'll need to do a few things. Mm -hmm. Slit a black cock's neck on the poor soul's grave? 
What a despicable thought. No. Do you know what smudging is? Mm, I do. You'll need ten poppies <sighs> and some flowers from the deceased grave. Once you have all that, bring it to the house that's being haunted. Light it on fire, and the smoke will purge the place of any unwanted spirits. Yeah, I'll do. Sounds I'll like fun. I'll help you. It's no game. It's a very serious matter. Drahomira was terrified. And these aren't forces to be meddled with lightly. Fine. Fine. Is there anything else I should know? That's a question for Drahomira. You'll find her in her cottage on the very edge of Ledechko. Good luck, then. Okay. Well, at least this uh, fetch quest is a little bit different. And, yeah, I called it, go find the amount of somethings. Well, and it's just lucky I have poppies in my pocket. So, yeah, I got the ten poppies. But, it is getting dark. So I should probably find my way back to Ledechka. I just hear someone? I did indeed. <laughs> Who are you? Camp life sure ain't easy. What the hell was that? Just me. Hey! Are you looking for me? I no. You guys look like a bit of trouble. Someone there? Yeah, me, right here. I've got. Ha! <laughs> Good. Excellent whelp, you said, huh? I'll pick up some dandelions. What was that? Is that an arrow? Enough. Enough. Yeah. Enough. Yeah, you're right. That's enough. A bit of hunting arrows. Nice. Some bows. Always worth some money. Bread. Some hair meat. Gloves. Hose patched. Crushing. Yeah, yeah. Take that. That's all good. Uh, another lockpick or two. And uh, this guy. Gloves, gloves, always worth so much. <laughs> More stink meat for the bucket. Uh, old boots that don't look too bad. Is that it? Hey, oh, nice. Let's see if I can get some more candy. What's in here? Bandages, linen shirt, why not? 
some hides, yeah, braves, that's just underpants. Meh, not really interested. I have to say, I kind of like what this um, Warhammer does. That was very nice. Come on. There it goes. Where's Pebs? There you are, Pebs. Ooh, high bright. That's a bit rare. Back down to town! Looks like I might just uh, need to spend the night. And then... Try to track down Hinex or Ricky's father. Uh, I'm sorry, I just can't resist the temptation. Oh, it's St. John's Ward. Thistle. Don't know, no, I can't pick you up. You're obviously not a herb of any value. First up, I want to drink some spirits, and then I want to sleep and save. Okay, don't think I need that torch anymore. Put my shield back on. And that sword. Nourishment 78. I'll eat a little bit of bread. And there are some bad bits of bread. Let's just drop that. Let's drop that. And try off that. <coughs> Me littering the hallways. On the horse. <coughs> the archery fellow I must come back and talk to him. Maybe you can teach me to be a better archer. Which I do need, seeing as I rely on archery so much. There we go. <coughs> you stay there, Pebbles. Oh, and um, you, dog? Yeah, let's give you some praise. Good fella. Mm, I do love that kettle hat. That's my boy. Do need a wash though. Uh, Look what I've got give for you. Some you. Praise. You'll love this. And some food. Some rotting rabbit. Yes, your favourite. Stink meat. I'm honoured that a knight such as you takes an interest in me. Hmm. Yeah. I'm What's looking the reason? for your son. Any idea where he might be? I don't know nothing. Don't you at least know where he usually goes? It's important. Hinek shows up at home once in a blue moon, so I don't know nothing about where he gets to. Even if I did, why would I tell every Tom, Dick and Harry? Um, well... Oh, yeah, I'll use my, uh... Watch your tongue, peasant. I'm an <laughs> envoy of Sir Radza Kabila, and this is an official investigation. Stop trying to put me off, and tell me where your son is right now. I apologise ah. if I offended you, young man. But still, I, was a bit I don't rough, know Henry. where Hinek is. 
He turned up at the house a while back, but then he vanished again in a hurry. And yeah. you don't know where he went? Uh, what? <sighs> Look, it's been clear to me for a long time that my boy was headed for the gallows. But I'm still his father, right? Yes, you are. And you can't expect me to rat on my own son. If you value no. your son's life at all, you better pray I find him. Because I'm not the only one looking for him. That's no surprise. But what of it? If you're here on behalf of Sir Radzik, there's nothing waiting for Hinnick but the gibbet. Mm, good point. It doesn't have to be that way. If Hinnick cooperates, he can save his neck. Yep. I can't say you put my mind at ease. But to hell with it. I'll tell you what I know. All right. He was here a few days ago, but he left right away. He looked like... like he was in a hurry. And you don't know where he went? I've got an idea, but I don't know where it is exactly. I don't follow. Hinek makes some money on the side from poaching. He boasted to me a few times about what a great hideout he found in the woods, but he never told me where it is. Okay. Well, it's not much to go on, but it's better than nothing. Thank you. Poacher's hideout. Don't Why you have not? any clue at all where his hideout could be? I really don't know nothing about that. I could tell when he'd come from there, is all. How's that? Because every time he brought some hides for tanning and money. Okay. I need to know what more, more do you know? Nothing. I swear to God Almighty, I've said all I know. Yeah. He never told me nothing. <laughs> I'm going to push. Bloody hell. Start using your head or I'll never find Hinek. How much time did he spend away? What was he wearing? How did he look when he came back? Anything? Well, he came and went at all sorts of hours. Right. I really don't know. Uh, except maybe one thing. He'd come home scratched with brambles and with leaves and muck on him. So he probably went through thick woods to get to that place. I reckon. What do I know? Okay. He had money because he sold the stuff right away. I suppose. He never kept any of his loot here. Do you know who he sold it to? No. But the innkeeper came here now and again and gave him coin. Yeah. Of course, right. it could have been for me. All right. I'll ask at the inn then. That was quite helpful. Go. And if he's really in as much shit as you say, please try and find him. I'll do my best, sir. Do my best. <clears throat> Right, so he's got a poaching hideout. He's got some dealings with the innkeeper. And uh, he's close with a bathhouse wench Adele or something. And these bathhouse people up and working at the moment. Okay, two guys. What was that? Hey. There's no bathhouse wenches. Yeah, it's a bathhouse really free of wenches, it seems. So I'll go in and check with the innkeeper. You can always identify the innkeepers because they're funny hats. <coughs> I'm at your service, Sir Knight. Good. That I want Riki. to ask about the courier's son, Hinnock. And ask someone else. I have nothing to do with Riki. Yes, you do. You only drive my customers away. <laughs> really? I heard a different story. I heard the two of you do business together. Yeah. Who are you, anyway? A friend of Hinnock's. He's gone missing, and I need to find him. I don't know where he is. But if you find the bastard, tell him he still owes me some goods. Some goods, does he? Well, you know, um... I don't give a damn what deals you've been doing together. I won't tell anyone. I just need to know where Riki is. It's urgent. What have our deals got to do with where he disappeared to? <laughs> More than you think. It's likely Riki is hiding out at his poaching lair. And yep. Believe me, it wasn't hard to find out who was buying game from him, and it's even easier to go to the castle and tell them. Poaching's a crime, after all. All right, yes. all right. But give me your word of honor, you won't tell anyone about our deal. You have my word. Oh, yeah. Fine. So 
So, what do you want to know? Your next hideout. I hear Hinek has a hideout in the woods he uses for hunting game. Do you know where it is? Not exactly. That is... I don't know where it is at all. But? But what? But I happen to know it's a dark place. A cave or an old mine shaft. How right. do you know that? Whenever Riki was going poaching, he always came to me first for candles and lamp oil. He brought the game skin that gutted, so we had to have a light for that. Right. Uh, and do you know of any mine, mine shafts nearby? There's a few of them around. There's one on the opposite bank, a short way off the path leading from the forge to the west. Right. Then there's a mine gallery to the east of the village, uh, up in the woods above the cliffs. And I heard there's one shaft on the headland close to the water. Thank you. You're welcome. Watch you don't break your neck, though. It's rough ground, and you could easily fall down a shaft. I'd like not to do that. Yeah, how much, how much game? game did he bring you? Not much. A few pieces. There's no great demand here. Sometimes the gentry has something, otherwise it ends up in sausages. May the Lord watch over you. <coughs> you too, innkeeper. You too. Now. Here. Enjoy it. Do I have a map indication? <coughs> Bathhouse. My shaft that way. My shaft that way. And a cave. And that's the ghost place. <coughs> Hop next door. A woman! Adela! God grant you health. How may I help you? I heard Ricky. you've been seeing Hinek, the tanner's son. So what? Come to preach at me, have you? No. That I'm a loose woman? No. A sinner? That I seduce decent men? No. God, no. Nothing like <coughs> that. It's just that you're the only one in the village who sees Hinek, so I came to ask you about him. I have seen him often enough. I don't know what I could tell you about him. Where can I find Hinek? I haven't seen him in the village for a few days. He must have run off to the woods again. Does he do Good. that often? From time to time. What the hell does he get up to there? I, I don't know. Right. Look, Hinek's my friend and I really need to know where he is and what he's doing. But I already told you I don't know where he's got to. So I suppose he just goes to the woods to pick mushrooms, does he? Mushrooms? No. More like hares or other game. Yep. So Hinek is He's a poacher. A poacher. Well, that's no surprise. Well, no, he was never much that. of one for an honest trade. Do you know exactly where he goes? Maybe he has some favourite spot he might have told you about? He said he has some hideout in the woods, but he didn't tell me where. Yep, yep, yep. <coughs> when did you see him last? See him? A few days ago. He came to me late in the evening. And that was unusual? I never saw him drink much. Okay. He always came yes. to me sober. So he was acting strangely. That kind of trying to he was manage strange. with the shit he's involved in. I had in. the feeling he was afraid of something. Yep. He kept prattling on and didn't seem to care about you know yeah. what. So I threw him out and I haven't seen him since. Okay. Do you remember anything he said that evening? Oh. He's feeling oh, guilt I'm and not stuff. sure. He went on about some fellow called Lubosh who died. Yeah. That he was regretting he ever got into it, but he never said what it was. And that it wasn't worth it for the money. Aye. And then he was talking about the money. That was very odd. Yeah. The money. What did he say about the money? Just that he had a pile of it hidden behind his house. I see. What did you say to that? What could I say? He was drunk. He kept saying I was a fine girl and other harlots wouldn't go with him even for money. And if I wanted, I could even take half the money and leave. Or he'd go with me and we could get married and such. Or oh, just poppycock. You're next such a dreamer. Did you go there for a look? No. I've got better things to do. Obviously he made it up. Where 
would a layabout like him get so much mm. coin? You've got an yes, idea. Yes, I understand. Hmm. Just for exactly the record, um, hypothetically. He said he buried it at his father's small holding in the western, the western corner. corner. All right, thank you. Yes, thank you very much for that. Um, Hinnick's hideout. I found out that Hinnick goes poaching in the woods and he's got a hideout there. What do you know about it? Um. Don't worry. Hinnick has much bigger problems than being caught poaching. And you're not involved in it anyway, are you? No, I'm not. It's true he used to go hunting in the woods sometimes. When he came back, he'd usually come to me. That's all. Which direction? Do you know what route he took? At least the general direction. Anything that could help me find his hideout. I think he usually went through the woodcutter's camp. Because he always brought me freshly woodcutters. chopped firewood. And he had wood chips on his <coughs> boots. Good. So at least I know where to start. Hmm. How did you know he'd been to the woods? Probably the same old routine, he covered in brambles and stuff. And he never came to me at other. Yeah, yeah. Do you know who he saw? He never uh, told me straight up. Innkeeper. Sure. Yep. Okay. May the Lord watch over you. Right, woodcutters camp. I don't know of any woodcutters camps around here. This is unfortunate. So go to the map. There's a woodcutters camp. There's a woodcutters camp. Okay. That could work. Let's head off to that one. Hello, peasant. And a camp. How hungry am I? Not at all hungry. Still going. And going. Yeah. And stop. Bussy starts. Let's not walk around behind the horse. Hard lock pick. I really hope I'm up to this. Oh, fine. So there. Woo! Noble dark boots. Lucky playing die. Fear not sword. Lots of money. Money, money, money. Lazarus potion recipe and another silver ring. Oh, I'm happy with that. Let's, let's keep on going in the direction of the cave and woodcutters. In this direction, ah. beaten by a small sapling. Ugh. Ooh, let's not fall off a cliff. my locator doing a 
cave. Just to be sure. to assume I'm using a long sword for some reason. Jesus Christ, what am I to do? Not that I can expect any useful advice from you. Yep. At least you have no more cares. Need someone to talk to? Fuck! Don't, don't kill me, mm. I, I can explain. I won't tell anyone. I swear, I've no one to tell anyway. Just please don't kill me. I'm not planning to kill you. You're, you're not one of Runt's men? No. Huh. Mm -hmm. Who are you? Okay, well I found Riki. I came to warn you. They're coming for you. Well, that's so. Good job I'm hiding out here then. They killed your friend, Lubos. Nailed him to the door of his own house. Well, it's fine. nailed him to the wall. Why do you think I'm in hiding? If you don't want to end up like him, you better tell me what you know. And how will that help me? If they come to a bad end, they won't be bothering you anymore, will they? And if you help me, I guarantee they will come to a bad end. One way or another. Fine. What do you want to know? That Neuhoff raid of yours didn't turn out quite as planned, did it? Depends on whose plan you're talking about. We were up to it to grab some loot and bugger off. Only Runt's cutthroats was there to shed blood. Runt's what do you mean, Runt's cutthroats? There were two gangs there, mine and Runt's. We was only there to steal, but they wanted to slaughter everyone. But when you realized what they had yeah. in mind, you didn't have to go along with it, did you? But we didn't know nothing, even though we were going to Neuhof. They told us to keep watch on the courtyard while they were cutting the horses' throats. Jesus, that fucking vexed me. Their horses was the most valuable thing there. That is true. I spoke up, though. Runt gave me such a bollocking, I knew I'd better keep my mouth shut. And when they said we was going to kill anything that moved, then we knew there was no going back. Okay. Your gang. That gang of yours, what can you tell me about them? Don't know what you want to know. There was four of us. Me, Timmy, Limpy Lubosh, and Pius Pava. Sometimes we'd rob a place or hold up pilgrims. Pius Never Pavel. nothing fancy. I'm sure you did mischief enough. Who led you? Pius. He was the oldest and he'd mostly find the jobs for us. Plan them and the like. He got us into that fucking mess in Neuhof too. What about the others? Who is this Pius? Timmy's strong as an ox with a brain to match. You got more sense out of a fence post. And Limpy? I've been with him the longest. He's my one and only friend, I suppose. Mm hmm. Who got your two gangs together? You must have made contact somehow, right? Pius. He comes to us and says he's got this prime job. We're gonna rob a farm, he says. Mm -hmm. That was a big deal, because mostly we <coughs> just did small stuff. A hold up on the road now and then. Nothing fancy. When they told us how much we could make on it, well... We just couldn't refuse. So Pius yeah. knew that? I suppose, but I don't know where from. We even got paid up front. I should have known so from the start. Pius is the mastermind of this game. Where did the rest of your gang end up? You saw Limpy, right? Yes, but he's no use to me now. Tell me where I can find Pius or Timmy. I don't know nothing about Pius. He vanished in the woods, and I haven't seen him since. Timmy, I reckon, went back to the mill where he works. Which mill? The windmill a bit north of Neuhof. Okay. Runt's gang. Tell me about Runt's gang. Did you know any of Runt's people? Not a one. They didn't talk to us at all. None of their faces was familiar either. The only thing I know is they called that huge chief of theirs Runt. And Pius warned us to watch out for him. Okay. I don't suppose you know where they got to after the raid. On the way to Neuf, Timmy told me he was at their camp with Pius. I reckon that's where they've gone now. To a camp? Did Timmy tell you where the camp is? 
somewhere in the woods. He didn't say nothing more. Thing is, Timmy's got quite an imagination. But mm. Caius roared at him to shut it, so I reckon there must be something in it. Okay. Who is this runt? What does he look like? Do you know anything about him? I never saw him before, but he's massive and scary as hell. Even his own men are afraid of him. Did you notice what his sword looked like? No, it was just a regular mm. sword, I think. Why do you ask? I think I once had the doubtful honour of meeting that bastard, and he has something that doesn't belong to him. My father's sword? Yeah. Okay. Am I afraid? Oh. Tell me exactly how the raid went down. Oh. Uh, da, da, well, da, 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 we stormed in from the rear. In, right. horses. Meanwhile, me and Limpy had a sniff round the stables to see if we could find anything worth doing. Okay. What did you find? Smill, Sir Hanish's groom. I don't know why he was up and what he was doing in the stables, but we took advantage of the situation. Limpy grabs him by the throat and I slapped him round to encourage him to tell us where the money was. You bastard. And it all fell apart at the seams. Quicker than you'd believe, Runt comes running up and skewers the groom like a pig for roasting. My jaw dropped. I thought the stuff about killing was just tough talk. And it wasn't. No. What happened then? I'm um, gaping at Smill, stuck through and through, and I noticed this boy standing at the other end of the stables. The stupid sods pointing at us, jaw hanging down to his knees, saying, I know you. Runt turns to us and hisses. Take him down. So okay. me and Lubosh start running, because the lad took to his heels. At the same time, we could hear the noise of the skirmish in the courtyard. Mm -hmm. Caught up with the boy at the next farmhouse. I knock him to the ground, but he bashes me with some piece of iron so hard my head's ringing like a fucking church bell. Limpy grabs it off him and stands over him, with his bodkin in his hand, and I start praying. In the end, Limpy just gives him a kick and says, beat it, Ginger. And then Runt shows up at the gate and hollers that we got... Right. So that's how Ginger was involved. We were waiting for that fool, Timmy. Same place as we met them before, so he'd know where we were, right? Stupid fucking yeah. idea. But Pius didn't want to leave him behind. Only when Timmy finally turned up, two of Runt's men were dragging him. There was some difference of opinion. You could say that, yeah. They started on us right away that we were traitors. Mm -hmm. They knew we'd let somebody get away, and now we were going to pay for it. They started trying to surround us, and we knew what was coming. But Limpy took his bodkin and let that fucker have it in the belly. Run. Mm -hmm. One of the others. Timmy broke free from them, and yeah, we all okay. took to our heels. Luckily, that explains they were so the, uh, from the band they in the woods we along. discovered just they north just of Nyhoff. They'd find us. Hi. You're coming with me. What so an exposition Rather, dump. We'll want to hear what you've got to say. Don't suppose there's any chance you might turn a blind eye. Why should I? I didn't do nothing all that bad. And I told you everything I know. You can tell them yourself. And leave me here. And in a few weeks, I'll pack up and clear off. Um... No, I'm taking Nothing it to Rat, How many people were screaming at Neuhoff? Half the stables are burnt down. I didn't kill no one, and I didn't start no fire, neither. But you had a hand in it, and you wanted to rob them. You could have warned them. I'm no saint, but surely I don't deserve to hang for that. It was them others. I don't give a tinker's curse. You were there, you didn't warn anyone, and you helped those murderers, even if it was only for a while. Yep. You're going to Rat Eye with me. You're condemning me to death. You know that, don't you? Maybe Sahanish will have mercy on you. You've had the devil's own luck so far. Right. So we found Ricky. He's alive. For now. And we're returning him to Ratai. All oh, right, this is the Red Eye Prison, and I assume. <coughs> All right, we're here. That's very convenient. Cool. 
Call the horse. Call the dog. Come on, dog. Have some praise. There's a good doggy. That's my boy. Yeah. Have some food. You'll love this. Yes, yes, yes. Good papa. There we go. Give myself a little spruce up. Now let's see if Teresa is ready to go for a walk. I have a beautiful moustache and haircut that she just won't be able to resist, I tell you. And there we go. Where is the lass? She's sitting in her little spot over here. Yes, she is. Hello. Look at you, lover boy. Oh, well, look at you. What now? Should we take a walk? You don't give up, do you? Well, let me think. And where would you care to go? Uh, stroll along the river sounds quite... What if we took quite... a stroll along the river? Non-threatening. That sounds lovely. Shall we go? Let's. Let's go. Game saved. That was a good idea to go for a walk. Not that I don't like the mill, but you get tired of it. So I'm glad you took me out. Hmm. I'd love to see the markets in Prague one day. Have you ever been to Prague? Yes, I no, have. No, I haven't. I have been in Kuttenberg, but Beautiful Prague town. be much bigger. <laughs> I've heard it's pretty smelly, though. Yeah, and Prague so is much larger than So many assholes. Now known as Kuttenberg. disgusting. Kuttenberg being the German name I'd for I'd love it. to listen to that young preacher, Jan Hus. Huh. They say he preaches in the common tongue. Everyone's talking about it. Yeah. I bet he's just handsome. Been talking about That's him for a while. That's why the women dote on him. <laughs> You're a right one. A preacher doesn't need good looks for people to listen to him. And what about that fine fellow at St. James? I know full well why all the girls have started going to confession, and you have too, so don't give me any of that. <laughs> you scoundrel. Yes? Well, all right. I admit I find him handsome. But that doesn't make me a bad Christian. Not at all. Never dare to suggest such a thing. Tell you what. Let's mm. not doddle. Last... Oh, just keep up with her. It's not a good move to beat the object of your affection in any kind of competition. Yeah. Though she's not wearing 80 pounds of armour. Still going? Are we still running? Come on. Still running? Okay. I'll follow you. <laughs> yes. That was fun. Yeah, that sit was down here next fun. to me, Hal. Yes, I'll sit with you. Oh. You level in vitality. And what about you? I heard you're helping Sir Radzig. Sir Radzig has me running in a few errands. I have to say, he always treats me well, and I make a wage. So you've had your turn mm -hmm. of luck. What's it like serving nobility? 
Oh, lap of luxury. Oh, it's endless luxury, money, banquets, games stuffed with other games. <laughs> a chicken stuffed with stuffed with a frog. Yeah, and that's nothing yeah. compared to a frog stuffed with a chicken. <laughs> <laughs> a goat stuffed <laughs> <laughs> with a pig. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Pure comedy, that. I'm trying to spot the chicken. I think in almost all the cutscenes, there is a, a, a chicken at some point. Uh, didn't see it in that one, but it's Not the like... designer's little gag. Um, oh, Henry, what am I going to do with you? Wandering the land, turning innocent girls' heads. Uh... What? I hope your knees didn't buckle too. You rascal. You know what? Ask me another time. Another time? The okay. next time you come to see me. You will come and see me again, won't you? Sure oh, will. I don't know. I am awfully busy. Well, if you do find the time, I'll be glad to see you. But now I have to go. Aww. Can I go with you? Just a little way. I don't want anyone to gossip. Ask, ask Teresa out of again, out again in a couple of days. Thank you for coming with me. Please come and see me again. Right. Well, I think I'll do enough. Uh, do enough for this. Uh, this session. I wasn't intending to go on the hunt for Riki, but it just sort of turned out that I did. And uh, it was pretty successful. Found him, got him to, you know, spill his guts about what happened, explained a bit more about the raid, gave me my next lead, which is a guy called Timmy. But, um, yeah, that's all went pretty well, I think. Anyhow, um, I still really do want to compete in the Rat A Tawny, whenever that will be next. So maybe in the next session I'll hang around and wait for the Tawny to occur and give it my best shot. Anyhow, thank you very much for joining me today. It's been lovely having you along this uh, ride, this playthrough of Kingdom Come Deliverance. And I've got to say, Henry's really coming into his own now. Anyhow, you take care. Love to all. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.